2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be you separate, saith Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Call Haloyim, La Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rechach, Kodash, double honor to the head elders, the apostles, and bishops of the great millstone. So I'm to you all can go out the world, as well as your few sisters who listen and learn and are sincere. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, just wanted to talk about what separates us, man, you know, from time to time and very often, especially in these days, <clears throat> these evil days that we're in. All right. There's a there's a saying that I uh, came across and it goes, knowledge is void without the application. So. Being that the Lord has brought us into his marvelous light, all right, his glorious uh, secret place of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, it's very important and imperative that we follow the script as he told us to follow. And one of the things that he told us is to be separate. All right. So what separates us from the world? All right. And it, it's a, it's it's very powerful because if you're not separate, you're clumped in together with everybody else. OK, so if you're walking according to, you know, the ways of the world, you're not going to be separate. All right, you're actually going to be a hypocrite. Okay, so knowledge is void without the application. Wherefore, come out from among them and be you separate, saith the Lord Yahweh by Shemesh Shai. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Okay, yeah, that means talking and walking. All right, talking to talk and walking to walk, man. All right, it's our intention. As servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in our perspective lots to not go ahead and do what the world especially all right which is the world is uh, under a wicked evil satanic vibration tells us to do all right you see they're telling and they're mandating you know these uh jabs all right and people are getting jabinated all right you're getting jabbed up and that's not going to uh <clears throat> it's not going to end very well with them it's not going to be a uh, positive outcome all right so it's very important that in all aspects and of course use wisdom and don't be un over righteous but when it is coming down to the wire where Okay, those that are truly following the light, all right, and not the darkness, okay, is just going to be uh, put on the forefront, all right, which is a which is a good thing, man, all right, because why? Yahweh Shai, all right, is going to take the light in those that suffer for His name's sake, all right. So let's read verse 14 be you not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness right what fellowship that we are in all right that uh have with this world all right and what communion have light with darkness this word is the light all right and this world is darkness this current world is darkness because it's ran by the rulers of darkness. And what hath Hamashiach with Belial? All right. And Belial means in the Hebrew to be worthless, vain, good for nothing. That's what this world is. Sons and daughters of Belial. And what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement? All right. With, with, with an infidel. All right. So, yeah, I just wanted to bring that out. Be separate man. like the lord